huge Dan Abbott of Understanding Sharks. I had the chance to co-host this episode of Shark Minutes, so I wanted to ask Skylar Thomas a little bit more about that video that we've just seen of the great white shark's eye, which, if, uh, if you're anything like me, I find absolutely fascinating. So I caught up with Skylar, and here's what he had to say. My buddy Andy Delios and I travel the world trying to capture footage of white sharks. These are clips from Guadalupe, Mexico, South Australia, and South Africa. The particular shot of the eye rolling back to look at the camera lens as the shark swims by, well, that clip is great because it shows you the detail of the white shark's eye. Contrary to what Quint told us in Jaws, it is not a black, lifeless doll eye. In fact, there's a lot going on in that eye. It has an iris, a pupil, cornea, and some beautiful blue coloring. And if you catch it in good enough light and the shark is swimming by slowly, you can see that he's looking at you while you look back at him. So what else about the white shark's eye? Here's some pretty interesting stuff, in my opinion. Uh, on a lot of species of sharks, you'll see something called the nictitating membrane that goes up and over the eye like you'll see in uh, reptiles. And this is to protect the eye. White sharks don't have this membrane. Instead, the eye rolls back into the skull for protection. When the eye rolls back like that, then you see the uh, white connective tissue and the sclera, which can make the shark look kind of scary too, because then you just have this white where an eyeball used to be. But this is for a specific purpose. The white shark needs more protection than your average shark because of what it hunts, which in its adult life largely consists of pinnipeds. Pinnipeds are not small and they have claws and they have big teeth and they fight back. They're not going to die easily. So that's why you see in a lot of these uh, sharks, you see scars right on their face from animals fighting back. In fact, I recently learned that they have cartilage back here to add extra protection right in that spot where the eye rolls back. As far as being close enough to the shark to get that footage, that's really up to the shark because sharks in general don't want anything to do with us. That's why this is so special when you get a shark that is calm, curious, or confident enough to swim by slowly and close enough that you get a nice shot of its eye because it really illustrates that there's something going on in there. It's taking you in, it's registering you, you're regarding each other, and this animal that could effortlessly kill me chooses not to. It looks at me, it's curious, it wonders what I am, what I'm doing there, and then it swims on by. Sometimes they're more curious and more confident than usual, and for someone who isn't familiar with a shark, that can come across as hostility. But it's really not so weird for an animal to want to know what you are. When working with great white sharks, you get to see just how different each shark's personality is. Some are shy, some are more curious, and it makes perfect sense then for a shark to want to be checking you out if it has no idea what you are. I'm Dan Abbott, thanks for watching.